All right, another little trick you can do when you're uh, using scatter plots. Happen to be in Linux right now, in case any of you have Linux. Um, works just the same way. Library or Commander. Data, comma, state. Comma package equals car. I believe that's my um, official um, thing imaging. So here's my data states package equals car. In this states data, I have a number of items that might correlate and might be worth plotting for analytic purposes, perhaps more for than you would for for um, presentation purposes. You know, I'd be interested to see how pay reflects is related to dollars spent and how much uh, percent. Um, it's related to the size of the population and dollars spent and all those sorts of things. So, so <clears throat> R has this kind of really cute little function called a scatter plot matrix in R Commander. So, and you can create a matrix uh, just like you do a. Um, regular scatter plot except you can use more than three two variables so I, I just selected all my variables uh, in that data set because I'm interested in them all so the least squares line is going to be my diagonal line so I want to keep it my smooth line is going to be that squiggly line I don't really want it um, now on on the the diagonal of this matrix, I can either have a density plot, a histogram, or box plots, or a one-dimensional scatter plot, normal QQ plot, or nothing. So let's put a histogram in there. Click OK. And it pops up this nice, 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 nice little little plot here Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it that um, shows um, there's how I'd read this dollars by play so that's dollars oh, what was that called let's go help states Click enter. So dollars was dollars state spent on public education. Okay, that's what that was. So, so dollars spent is highly correlated to teacher pay. Well, yeah, that makes a sense. Look at that line. Um, the percent is percent of students who who, who took the SATs. And you can see that dollar spent has got a good correlation. Um, population, that's the size of the population of the state, I believe, in, in 1,000. So um, it looks like there's a, a, you know, a, a slight correlation. The larger the state, higher the population, the more they spend uh, in... Um, thousands. Does that make sense? Um, uh, it's dollars spent per student, so it, it shouldn't make any difference on the size of the state. Um, uh, <clears throat> dollars spent, how does that relate to how well they do on math? Oh, there's a negative correlation. Looks like the more that's spent on, on um, education, there's a drop in uh, 
um, uh, how well they do on math, and the same how they, well they do on SAT verbals. So, pay, pay SAT verbals, pay SAT math, negative correlation. Um, although pay does predict how many will take the um, SATs, um, how many will. Um, um, so, this analysis starts to make some sense. So we've got in these uh, states that have um, um, throwing a lot of dollars increases the percent of people who take the SATs, which looks like it's showing a decrease in in um, um, you know that, that it's causing a decrease in, in the average SAT score. However, when you when you look at percent and compare that with um, SAT and SAT uh, verbal SAT math, both of those are pretty strongly negative correlated. So, w w what I would say is um, um, we see that uh, throwing money at teachers causes an increase in uh, SATs. Um, <clears throat> that's something of an artifact of, of a population. Larger populations apparently have more money to, to spend. Um, and that results in more people taking the SATs. So when more people take the SATs, the average SAT score is going to go down, because, you know, in these in these states where very few take it, um, I I would gather that it's those people who are interested in going to college that take it. Where, where in those states with more money, perhaps just more people are taking it in general. So, I don't know, but that seems to make sense to me.